both guys in their white uniforms, red, gray, and black stripes on the outside. Penn State wearing their navy blue and white. Allie Brigham and Taylor Theory will take the tip. And Ohio State wins the tip here at Value City Arena. Your officials today, Kim Hobbs, Tim Daly, and Cameron Ayun. Ohio State coming off a win against Ohio University this past Tuesday, winning 85 to 45 in a dominant victory and a charging call called immediately against J.C. Sheldon. What a good job by Penn State's Pintu. We'll get another look at it here. Great. Pintu. Yeah, that's exactly the stance you want to get in when you're taking a charge. And Penn State turning the ball over quickly on the full court press that Ohio State gives opponents a lot of trouble to this past season. How do you break this press? You know, that's that's something that's going to be tough. And they went up against 40 minutes of pressure against West Virginia as well. And they struggled a lot. They had 26 turnovers. Already a substitution. Tay Valaday checks into the game. And Chesky, who we talked about in the open, she's 19th in Big Ten scoring, checks out already. Penn State team's made up of nine transfers this season. So a lot of new faces for head coach Carolyn Keeger. Tie game still here. Less than a minute into the game. Ohio State's Cody McMahon from the left wing for three. And that's off. But Celeste Taylor gets the offensive rebound. The tip from J.C. Sheldon. Way to start things off for the Scarlet and Gray. Leilani Kapanis. She'll move the ball around now as Penn State looking for their first points of the game. Here comes Valade. Gets called for the foul. She recruited Valade. Wanted her to join the team and got her in the transfer portal. A low scoring game so far here on Sunday. Thanks for joining us on Big Ten Plus. It's J.C. Sheldon now. She'll move it around to Taylor Theory. Theory, who's so clean on the inside, drives. Plant your body, not move your hands. And here comes a steal and a turnover. Theory under the basket. She's being swarmed in a steal that's poked away by pin two. So an offensive foul called. Because I think everything needs cleaned up. I think, uh, you know, Buckeyes' shots are not falling when they typically do. Great drive by JC because of how much... The Bucks have been pressuring them. Four rebounds a game and three steals. She was all Big Ten first. Hey, it looks like they might have There's their a field chance, goal attempt. but unfortunately not able. Ohio State and Penn State going at it early to get the ball, Hannah. I mean, they are using all the endurance they have. It is running up and down the court this entire game so far. You can hear some fans yelling, great hustle, so... Ohio State's already in the bonus. So Celeste Terrell, Taylor, excuse me, will shoot two at the line. Just a 48% free throw shooter this season. Taylor was the ACC Defensive Player of the Year last season at Duke. The graduate guard from Valley Stream, New York. And she was someone in the transfer portal, Kevin McGuff. Definitely wanted for this full court press and defensive purposes, and she has worked out so far this season. Penn State's shot from Chesky off that time. Here comes Ohio State's Cody McMahon. Mikulashi Kova, the pump fake inside for the floater and a charging call. Penn State clearly has practiced that, bracing for a charge. Marisa runs the traffic for the Lady Lions. Inside, good pass to Brigham. Penn State finally on the board. Sheldon tried to throw that inside to Mikulashikova. Chesky threw it away. Gives up to Valade. The little up and under. Tay Valade. We're going fast quickly right now. Cody McMahon. Good oh, find from Select. McKenna Marisa, the step back three. Gets the friendly bounce. Tie at the official announcing table. This game has been gritty so far. Let's see Cody McMahon, the spin move off the backboard. Just finding her offensive groove. 
And there you see Cody on defense now. Tips it to Ricky Harris. What a pass. Looking like a quarterback out there is Ricky Harris to J.C. Sheldon. What a pass and what a finish. Not even a dribble needed by J.C. She went right into the layup. Swarming defense and a miss from Kapanis. So seven seconds left for Ohio State to get it across the halfway point. They do with ease. They break the press. Taylor outside. McMahon elected not to shoot. And the crowd wanted her to shoot. Puts in the end one. Count the buck. The sophomore from Centerville, Ohio. That shot's off to the left side. And swarming defense from Celeste Taylor. He does not love the call. And that's going to bring in somebody pretty special for Ohio State that we haven't seen this season. All the Buckeye fans up on their feet cheering for Madison Green. Her first time playing in a Buckeye uniform this season. Since December of 2022, she had a knee injury in 2021, another injury after coming back from the season prior to her other knee. And you see the brace she has on her left knee. So first time Madison Green checks into the game. The redshirt senior from Pickerington, Ohio. But at the line was Kapanis. So a key player for Ohio State. And now foul's going to be called on Penn State. Sheldon will go shoot two. So there is no doubt her impact makes a big difference for Ohio State. We spoke to her family earlier today, her little sister Emmy, who just turned 16. She's her number one fan. She is. She said, you guys better interview my sister after the game. So Might have to happen, depending on the way JC plays today. Yes. Sheldon leads the way now, tied with six points as well. Good offense there from Marisa. Marisa, five points today. We've talked a lot about Ohio State's full court pressure, but Penn State, they've been applying a lot of full court pressure as well. Parks to Sheldon. What a find from the transfer from Michigan State in Tyre Parks. And that's the gamble you take when you have your defense full court like that. See the way Ohio State broke the press, though. Two shots for Tate Valaday. Just an easy find for Tyre Parks as J.C. Sheldon was cutting right under the basket. Valaday goes to the line. Head coach Kevin McGuff has a discussion with Tim Daly, the official. As Sheldon and him believed she went straight up with her arms. Leaning more towards calling the foul rather than not. That's something you have to adjust to. Two fouls for J.C. Sheldon, as you just said, who has eight points today. And there she has the ball. Sheldon down the right side of the lane. It's just too easy sometimes for Sheldon. Down the left side of the lane. The layup didn't go. Harris with the rebound. Here comes Sheldon in transition. McMahon, the spin move in the fadeaway. A little too short as Parks went up for it. And she's called for the foul. So all the Ohio State players on, on the court haven't scored. Except for J.C. Sheldon with 10 points. Ohio State's full court press gives troubles for a quick second, but Mariah Murray, she handles the ball, gives up to Marisha for three. McKenna Marisha. Marisa, eight points so far, half of the points for Penn State. Harris, down the baseline, goes inside, will shoot two again. The fouls are almost getting out of hand. And of course, personal fouls. You know, these players are racking them up early on. Penn State has had to, no choice but to use some substitutions that they may not have used. Marisa's trapped now by Green in theory. Gets the ball away just in time. There's Chesky in the corner. It's good. Jayla Odin. Taylor Theory under the basket. Just one on one. An advantage Taylor Theory over Marisa. Now Marisa will run the floor. Pulls up for two. Silky smooth. For Marisa now. She has nearly half of Penn State's points. Parks recovers, puts it up off the backboard. Parks and Sheldon having a good relationship so far, finding each other. But here's Chesky. Chesky at the baseline. It's too easy. Madison Green looking for her first point since December of 22. Not this time denied by Murray. Murray outside. Chesky ties it up. 
With less than 30 seconds in the first quarter, Penn State ties things up once again. Beautiful form by Chesky. There was no hesitation. As soon as she was open, she went for it. Sometimes all it takes is making one basket to get yourself back in the rhythm. Penn State has not led the game so far. Theory under the basket. Charging call is going to be on Taylor Theory. Maurice is going to go quick now for the final basket. Looks around. And it's a tie game to end the quarter. Thanks for joining us on this Sunday afternoon for a top 25 matchup between the Penn State Lady Lions and the 12th ranked Ohio State Buckeyes. First ranked matchup since 2012 in an offensive call. Started to pick up offense towards the later part of the quarter. Cody McMahon shot off that time. Now it's Mariah Murray. Penn State. 80% from three-point land, Ohio. Thanks to Brigham's layup. Miku Ashikova against Brigham. That time, Brigham has the good defense. Chesky. No good, but the putback from Alley for Penn State now. Here in the second quarter, silence the home crowd for Ohio State. Taylor from three. Miku Ashikova with the easy rebound over Chesky. McMahon inside. Blocking foul called four points today off the bench. McMahon's free throw off that time. McMahon's 0 for 3 from the charity stripe. Now Penn State will push. Good communication. Can hear Allie bring him all the way over here to Chesky. Murray for 3. Hits it from the right wing. Can't ask for much more than that. Ohio State's only played two players off the bench so far. Penn State 3. So depth is going to be challenged today between both sides. Taylor for three. Right out of the timeout. Four-point game. Penn State leads. Marisa pulls up for three. Right back at you. So just two points away from 1,800 career. There's Cody McMahon. Flies around. Looks for the foul call. No call. Chesky for three. Penn State's hot right now. 6-0 run for the Lady Lions over one minute in this run. Right outside of the timeout. An entertaining game and a turnover. Lackadaisical pass. Chesky's going to run the floor. And an easy layup for Kevin McGuff's team as they're trying to get some new rhythm. And Emma Shoemate, she had her career high last game in that Ohio game. 22 points, six three-point makes. Yes, yeah, she led the Buckeyes in their victory over Ohio University. Gets the easy two on inside. Parks and Brigham are going to be battling down low. But right now it's Murray against Harris. Harris, another one of those players that adds a spark. There's Chesky. She's so nifty inside. Doesn't get the friendly roll. Dishes it outside. And the crowd is frustrated right now. Look, the turnovers are, are never good. And I think the Buckeyes need to limit those. There's some shooting from the... Much needed for this Ohio State team. Now down seven. We just talked about the shooting and... Ohio State's able to do that, but could Penn State respond with a deep three? Mariah Murray wanted that shot from the left wing, but here comes Celeste Taylor. She lost her dribble. She'll pull it out. Shoemate, one of the best three-point shooters for the Buckeyes. They've got to get her open on the wing. As we said, she had six threes. Celeste Taylor within the last 30 seconds. Celeste Taylor, she's the... Big Ten Player of the Week. She was named that on Monday. Penn State started off hot to open up the second. Really helped Ohio State out when needed. Definitely. It's been a big week for her. She had the double-double in the Tennessee game one week ago where Ohio State went to Knoxville and took down number 20, Tennessee. Sheldon from the baseline. Big time shot. Four-point deficit for Ohio State. Marisa moving around. Pulls up for two. McKen Harris for three. Off that time. Here comes Jayla Odin. Inside over Shoemate. Shoemate's going to shoot. Odin this year. 75% from the line.
Dante trying to move things off ball right now. Taylor open in the corner for three. She was calling for it. Park tried to go down for the rebound. McKenna Marisa runs the court. Marisa. Sheldon, she'll pull from the elbow. And Ohio State can't find shots from the mid-range right now. Brigham sworn by Mikulashikova. Odin Murray both won the ball. There's Lavelle. She's making her presence known. Now Sheldon's going to go to work, but she dishes it outside to McMahon. McMahon with the handles less than 10 on the shot clock. The spin move and a nifty finish for Cody McMahon to bring this within a 10-point game. Shot clock turned off with 10 to go. McKenna Marisa, she's been dangerous today with 18. Will she take the last shot? She gives it up to Lavelle. Misses. McMahon's going to have to put it up. It will count if it goes. It was close, but nonetheless, Penn State's second quarter was how they're up 10 under head coach Kevin McElf in his 11 seasons with Ohio State. They are 38-77. and 77. Not a good record when trailing at halftime for McGuff's team. Can Ohio State avoid a loss in their column for number two of the season? This be big as conference play just starts between both teams. And Ohio State knows how important conference play is. And Carolyn Keeger told us this week, conference play means everything. Ohio State also 21-22 and 22 all-time against ranked teams at home. Looking to make it 22 to 22 today. Sheldon has some trouble inbounding the ball. Taylor secures it against Marisa. Taylor goes inside. Popped out by Theory, but Penn State ball. We talked about Marisa earlier. There she is, who gives it up to Chesky. Hannah mentioned her for three. Penn State's firing in all cylinders to open up the second half. Big time three. Largest lead of the day for the Nittany Lions, 13 points. Celeste Taylor inside of Mikulashikova, extra feed to Cody McMahon. Drives near the baseline, she's going to have to put it up. She gets the friendly bounce. Brigham, the handoff to Marisa. The ball floated up high. McMahon comes down. Here comes McMahon. She's so fast. Gives up the Theory. Foul called. Number two, Taylor Theory has two points. Four steals. So Theory's an do-it-all type of player. Three points scored from the leading line so far this quarter. Marisa guarded up against Theory. The turnaround. Celeste Taylor, she tried to feed inside a theory. Swarming defense from Kapanis. Miku Lashikova, much needed. Just like you said, much needed. That was her first time scoring today, Miku Lashikova. Lavelle and Miku Lashikova will battle it as she sets a screen, but Chesky ignores the screen, and she did so. Good passing, McMahon outside to Taylor. A three and a battle between Lavelle and... We're delayed to have this game because this has been a treat since the beginning. One to call so far. Very competitive and aggressive. And to have it one time. I've tried it once. Phenomenal. But Jayla Odin goes inside, misses the layup. Chesky puts it back. Penn State. Out of their hands. You can't control the calls that are made, so they're just going to have to adjust. It's a packed house here for a top 25 matchup. A lot of contact both ways. And McMahon goes inside. She'll initiate the contact. Count that. It almost seemed like she wasn't expecting that pass to go to her. But as soon as it did, she drove the lane strong. So really important that they can make those down the stretch. And I hope I didn't just jinx that. Makes the second one so... And, you know, it's opened up opportunities for Shezki to really play strong. She has seven points in this third quarter. There's Marisa. She'll run the point for Penn State. Ten seconds on the shot clock. Good defense. Double team by Taylor McMahon. 
Now McMahon will come back to Valade. Three seconds to go. Goes inside, Valade with the shot. An emotional crowd. And head coach Kevin McGuff better be careful. He might get a technical foul as he's going back and forth with the officials. Sheldon moving it around now. McMahon inside. She'll get called. There's the first free throw made. Now these free throws are really going to count down the stretch. You're seeing the difference in free throw percentage. And the crowd's excited. And the energy starting to pick up here at Value City Arena. Ohio State down 61-53, but Chesky almost silenced the crowd. Rebound Celeste Taylor. She'll run the floor and slow things down. 61-53. Ohio State's outscoring Penn State in this quarter by two points. McMahon inside for two. Right over Jayla Odin. Marisa loses control of the ball. She gets the three, though. In and out. Ohio State. They find J.C. Sheldon. A foul is going to be called on Penn State. Sheldon, who's at the free throw line now. Sheldon yet to score in the second half but she has played the most minutes out of any player in this game she's been on the court for 28 minutes so far 16 points for sheldon 16 points for mcmahon a two possession game here in columbus plenty of time to go and we're just in the third quarter and you can feel the intensity Odin, extra pass to Chesky. Good defense from Ohio State. Miss layup there from Penn State. Odin's down on the ground. Sheldon goes up. Gets the friendly bounce. We have an injury down. About Jayla Odin as soon as we can. But hope she can get back okay as this has been a fun battle and she's been a part of it. Definitely seemed like she was having her knee looked at, but uncertain exactly what the injury was Penn State they were up 11 now only up two as they're hoping to upset Ohio State on the road their first time in the top 25 against the 12th team in the nation an Ohio State team that went to the elite eight last year extra pass Murray for three what a silencer after the injury in Ohio State's comeback Sheldon dances around with less than 10 on the shot clock. Inside, extra pass to Theory. She's trapped. They're going to have to shoot the ball, Ohio State. McMahon, shot clock violation. They're not going to count it. They're going to review it next dead ball, but for now it counts for Ohio State. McKenna Marisa throws the ball inside to Brigham. She is fouled. What do you need to see from Penn State here to get the last shot off and make it? You know, it looks like they have Marisa taking it in. It's an and one. They did their magic there with Marisa to Kapanis. With Kapanis at the line. She's two for two today. Gets her own rebound up against McMahon. Puts it up, and it's good. Just one second to go. Harris going to put it up. It counts if it goes. Off the basket, end of the quarter, and we're going to have a review to see if Cody McMahon shot went Shot in. by Cody McMahon, shot clock violation. So Ohio State stripped of two points. J.C. Sheldon for three. Big time shot. Sheldon's the leading scorer today with 22 for Ohio State. A much needed J.C. Sheldon game for the Scarlet and the Gray. It hasn't happened in a little while. That's her second three point shot of the day two possession game Penn State playing real well today Kapanis great defense by Sheldon you can tell she's making the adjustments they're calling a lot of fouls so she had her arms straight up she was not moving with it Miku Washikova finds McMahon the seal in the finish Chesky with just six on the shot clock pulls up from the elbow Ohio State rebound
Sheldon gives up the theory. Five seconds on the shot clock. Penn State's defense has been sound. Here comes Cody McMahon. McMahon! McKenna Marisa has the ball. Only two points in this half. 18 in the first. Less than 10 for Marisa. The pull back. McMahon secures another. Re the crowd bringing the energy for Ohio State. Sheldon outside for the lead. It's good. Chesky, Marisha. Chesky rebound. Penn State will slow things down. A fresh 20 was on the shot clock after the miss. 10 seconds. Chesky gets the pick. To Kapanis for three. The pump fake. Inside. All alone. And Penn State is... Less than five minutes of play here at Value Sydney Arena. Penn State looking to avoid two losses in a row. Celeste Taylor, the pump fake. What a finish, and Ohio State has taken... But again, it just rings true that these teams are so similar. Similar styles of play. But neither one is letting up, and that's what we like to see. Marisa, blocked by Taylor! You saw the ball get blocked, but the hip checks can happen, and that is where the foul could be. Ohio State, Celeste Taylor, four fouls. And the make for Marisa. Not much of Emma Shoemate in this game for Ohio State. Just five minutes of play, and she had 22 last game. I think it comes down to which styles of play are better. Ohio State led in the first quarter, and that was it until this fourth quarter. Up two. Harris takes the charge. A fired up crowd, two fired up teams. Miku Ashikova and Brigham battling down low. Who's going to win this battle? It's Miku Ashikova. The spin move in the hook. Four point lead for Ohio State. Marisa gets the layup to go. Penn State's not going away anytime soon. Seventy-five, seventy-three. Two minutes and thirty-five seconds to go. Ohio State's moving around. They're going to have to shoot. It's Miku Lashikova. She's been hot today. Good boxing out by Penn State for the miss. Oh, Ohio State. Can they hold their ground? They've only let up five points in this quarter. Marisa thought about the three. Pulls up for two and one. Penn State, they've tied things up. McKenna Marisa. One point game, Ohio State's ball. Against the 25th Penn State Lady Lions. Sheldon, the highest scorer, gives it up to McMahon. Inside, she barrels her way inside. Foul on Penn State. Critical free throw make for McMahon. Seems like she's changed up her release with her free throws a little bit to adjust. Marisa dances around, gives it to Pintu. She's been quiet today. Pintu's spin, no good. Rebound Mikulashikova finding Sheldon. Ohio State is 10 seconds. Waiting for their play to form. Celeste Taylor pulls up for three. Oh my God! Celeste Taylor with the shot of the game. But Ohio State right now converting where it counts. Exactly. Showing up when it matters. Marisa, the alley-oop. What an inbounds play. Ohio State will pass the ball in. 
They find Mikulashikova. She's trapped. And she turns the ball over. Penn State ball. Shot clock turned off. They're not going to use a timeout. Validate down the baseline. Ties the game up. 10.1. Full court press from Penn State. Something they're good at applying the pressure. They're looking to get another turnover, but J.C. Sheldon's handling the ball well. Sheldon, she's trapped. Ohio State doesn't call a timeout. Taylor saves us from going out of bounds. Going to put it up. It will be good. And it's not going to be good. Shot would have counted if it went in. And that is the end of regulation. Let's get things going. Brigham and Theory will tip the ball. And a hold will be called on Chesky. So just two seconds in, we get ourselves our first foul call. Three. McMahon is tripped inside. That's Valaday's fifth foul of the game. She'll check you out. Mariah Murray checks in. Replacing Valaday. McMahon gets the friendly bounce. McMahon has made her last five free throws. That wasn't a good time for me to say that Not because all, <laughs> as she's releasing it. This is my apology to Cody for that. Announcer's jinx. But she is leading the Buckeyes in scoring. She has 23. Chesky with some nice handles. Gets it outside. Brigham calls for her teammate and Chesky. Chesky moves around. Tries to get off the backboard. McMahon saves it. Both teams each have a timeout and overtime to use if needed. Sheldon, she was fouled on the floor. Penn State in some foul trouble, losing some key players. And Jayla Odins back on the bench for Penn State after she went down earlier in the second half. Marisa loses control of possession. She'll have to put it up. The reverse, no good. Rebound, Celeste Taylor. What do you think of the defense there, Hannah? I think the defensive efforts have been so strong. I think Ohio State seems more in control of these overtime minutes. McMahon puts it up with one hand. Big time shot from the sophomore. She has 25 today. Big time three, Chesky, no good. Now important to know each team does have one 30 second timeout they can use during overtime. The Buckeyes score again. I think Penn State might be using theirs. Five point advantage for the Scarlet and Gray. Sheldon down the lane, pulls up for two. Big shot, J.C. Sheldon and McKenna Marisa's down on the floor. Penn State's leading scorer. Marisa had 28. I mean, you hate to see any player go down, but especially when she's had such an impact on this game. Turnover once again for Penn State. 18th of the day. They still are scoreless in overtime. With no McKenna Marisa. Penn State down a great defender, an offensive player. Sheldon, what a pump fake. Dishes outside to McMahon, elected not take the shot. Now this is Cody McMahon's Cody. bread and butter, and she does it again with another layup. McMahon, 27 points. She's the highest scorer on Ohio State. Foul will be drawn. Buckeyes are in a comfortable spot now. But important to note, JC had two fouls. Seven point game. Sheldon is fouled and that is the player that's been the best at the free throw line. Gets the friendly bounce. It's Jayla Odin, good to see her back in the game. After she went down earlier, she'll send the pass in. Brigham with the handoff to Odin. Odin, the layup, off the mark. Brigham recovers with the two. 
Sheldon will hold on to the ball. And a foul will be called. Sheldon will go to the line to shoot two. I think her sister, Emmy, would be happy with this performance today. That's her first free throw miss in Dublin, Ohio. She has 29 points. And obviously playing in those extra five minutes of overtime helps rack up. Most definitely is Sheldon is fouled. And J.C. Sheldon, preseason All-Big Ten first team. Sheldon, 31 points today. Penn State's going to have to go quick, but they turn it over. Chesky will swarm Sheldon. But it seems as if Penn State's going to back off. A valiant effort from Penn State. The comeback from Ohio State heads to overtime, and the Buckeyes stay undefeated at home. Move to 8-1 on the year, 1-0 in conference play. 